All right, so here we go with this UFC Flyweight Championship fight, and there is the man out of the red corner, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Flyweight Champion, making his way to the octagon. He's defended this belt before. This is not new territory for this young man who believes that the rest are just the rest. He believes he is the best at 125 pounds and looking to prove just that here tonight. The champion is in focus. He is in his prime. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this camp has been absolutely spectacular. He believes he has a solid game plan and his mentality coming into this fight is clear and focused. Tail the date for this flyweight championship fight. More than five years apart, with similar height and the same reach. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you all from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the UFC Flyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Taekwondo fighter, holding a professional record of 17 wins, five losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, USA, presenting the challenger, Sergio Athena Pettis. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, Weighing in at 125 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world, Silky. All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. This, this has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in because it's about to go down right, right. right now. Right. All right, here we go at stake. The UFC. Oh! Oh, look at this. Who saw that coming? Pettis gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Good punch. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful right hand by the champion. Loads up on the right hand and lands. Oh, tagged him. Slip. Wow. Uh oh. Nice leg kick. When a southpaw fighter is facing the orthodox fighter, it opens up the back left kick for the southpaw fighter, which lands on the liver. It's a very vulnerable area and a huge advantage to fighting southpaws. 
He's doing an excellent job. Oh. Wow. Oh, he got clipped there. He got hurt. Man, has his chin been tested in. Oh, oh. Big shot. Well, he gets up again here, Joe, but he looks hurt. Oh! What a leg kick. Pettis' cut is just bleeding like mad. I wouldn't be surprised at this point, Joe, to see the referee call in the doctor. And if he gets a close look at that thing, he's probably going to stop this fight. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Wow. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Oh, oh he's out. He's rocked. Oh, big kick. Wow, he is getting off some massive kicks. Oh, man, with that right leg kick. Oh, very nice. Pettis gets tagged by that stiff jab. He's got to get that guard up, Joe. Second round, straight ahead. Wow, well, full domination this round. Way to finish the round. Nice. Way to go. Listen, you almost had him finished, but the round came at the end. Now let's start this next round off and fit. Let's take a look at some of the action in that round here. And here a big shot lands and a knockdown. And here, another big shot lands, and another knockdown. And here, another clean shot lands, and another knockdown. What an action-packed round. It looked like it all... You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. This is going to become one of those things where you're just wondering what's, what's the opponent going to be able to do to him. Not even whether or not he's going to win, but what's his opponent going to be able to do to him. Right hand upstairs. Oh, he's stumbling. Pancake. Oh, he might be out. Strike there by Pettis. Looks like it did stun him a little bit. He's in big, big trouble here. Just missed with a huge kick. Good kick to the body. He hurt him. Kick right under that right elbow. Herb Dean calls for the stand up there. Come on. Nice left hand. And now starting to snap off that jab. Oh! Oh, how good is that jab? Under three minutes to go here in round two. Easily stuffed that shot. Oh, landed that kick to the leg. And mixes it up with the kicks. Check that one. Oh. Nailed it with that right hand. Oh, he's, hurt. he's hanging on here, but he is in big, big trouble. Oh, what a leg kick. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Landing a good series of strikes here. Oh, this is crazy. This could be it right here. Nice leg kick. Big kick, but miss. Nice punch by Pettis. Well, the offense has been there. He is landing some good shots. But kick to the body. He's hurt. He is in big trouble here. He's wincing in pain.
huge punch that stuns. And here's a powerful shot that almost ends this fight. Let's see it one more time. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Now, starting off this round, he might still be hurt. He's going to want to look to be defensive and move and avoid getting hit right to the liver. He's hurt to the body. Big shot to the liver. He's stunned. Back to the feet. Nice leg kick. Big straight punch. Such good movement. He just continues to land with a high volume of strikes here. Not unlike the previous round, Joe, and at least if his body language is any indication, he is not slowing down whatsoever. Huge liver kick! That might do it! He's trying to... Oh, yeah, and that's going to do it! Oh, that's it. Wow. Wow. And here's the end of the fight. We can see it from a different angle here. Look at the power in this roundhouse kick. And when it lands, the fight is done. Here we see it again. And there he is, folks, the consensus baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion, getting it done tonight and with a knockout under the bright lights. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called us off to the